In this tutorial, you will investigate the vibration characteristics of a motor cover component manufactured in structural steel. The cover is fastened by four bolts at four different holes to a device operating at 1200 Hz. These are the steps required to complete this tutorial. Download the step model from the ProDate resources. Import the geometry into Workbench. Create holes on the model and apply thickness of 1.2 mm. Generate mesh and specify boundary conditions. Solve the analysis, retrieving the results. Analyze the data. Play and save the animation. Save the project. Let's get started. That was the brief introduction of this session. Now launch ANSYS Workbench session and close the welcome window. Expand analysis system now. Now drag and drop the model analysis system to the project schematic window. Rename the system as MA003. Now choose the Save button from the standard toolbar. A pop-up window appears. Browse the location to save the project. Enter the project name MA003 and click on Save button. Right-click on Geometry cell. Choose Import Geometry and browse from the shortcut window. Browse to the file MA003 file, which you have downloaded already from Prodac Resources Library. Click on Open button. Now the file is uploaded in the model analysis system. Double click on the geometry cell. The mechanical window is displayed. Set the units to millimeter and click on OK button. Next, click on generate button from standard toolbar. Now model is displayed as you can see in the graphics area. Next, we need to create holes on this part as per the drawing displayed here. Select ZX Plane from the tree outline to specify it as Sketching Plane. Invoke the Sketching Mode by clicking on Sketching button. Next, choose the Circle tool. Now draw four equal size circles on the plane. Now we need to constrain the sketch. Select Constraints, then choose the Symmetry option. Select Vertical Center Line and then select Circle Centers one by one. Press Escape button to exit from Symmetry tool. Again choose the Symmetry option. Select Horizontal Center Line and then select Circle Centers one by one. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Expand the Dimensions Toolbox in the Sketching Toolboxes window. The General Dimensioning option is already selected by default, so no need to select it again.
change the D1 value to 6 mm and L2 and L3 values to 28 mm in the details view window. Now select the extrude tool to cut the holes and click on apply button in the details view window. Select the cut material option from the operation drop down list. Click on the generate button from the feature toolbar. The cutout feature is created. Hide the sketch for better visibility of the model. Now, close the design modeler window. Next, double click on the model cell of the M8003 analysis system. The mechanical window along with the attached status message box is displayed. After some time, the attached status message box disappears and model is displayed in the graphics screen. Notice that the model is a surface and therefore you need to add thickness to it. To do that, expand the geometry node and then select part 1 displayed in it. The details of part 1 are displayed. Expand the definition node if not already expanded. Enter 1.2 in the thickness edit box to provide a thickness to the model. Right click on the mesh from the tree outline and select Generate Mesh from the shortcut window. After generating mesh, you can see the actual thickness of the model. Expand the sizing node in the details of mesh window. Select the option on proximity and curvature from the use advanced size functions drop down list under the sizing node. Scroll down and enter 1.5 in the minimum size edit box and press enter key. Again generate the mesh. Select the model node in the tree outline. The environment contextual toolbar is displayed. In the environment contextual toolbar, choose the fixed support tool from the supports drop down. The details of fixed support window are displayed. Choose the Edge tool from the Select toolbar to select the edges for applying fixed support. Hold the Control button and select the edges of the holes. Then, choose the Apply button in the Geometry selection box. The fixed support is applied to all four holes. Select the Analysis Settings. Details of Analysis Settings window are displayed. Enter 8 in the Maximum Modes to find Edit Box. Next. Select the Solve tool from the standard toolbar.
The analysis is solved. Select Solution in the tree outline to see the graph and tabular window. Right-click in the graph window, shortcut menu is displayed. Choose Select All from this shortcut menu. Again, right-click in the graph window and choose the Create Mode Shapes Results options. Total deformation results are added under the Solution node in the tree outline. Right-click on the Solution node and then choose the Evaluate All Results option. Now, select Total Deformation under the Solution node in the tree outline. Click on Play button to see the deformation on the model. Similarly, select Remaining Tool Deformations and check the Natural Frequency and Corresponding Deformation. Each mode shape represents a frequency value, the tabular data window displaying the natural frequencies of different mode shapes. The minimum deformation in all the cases is zero because the model is constrained with the help of bolts and there is no deformation near the constrained edges of the model. After retrieving the results, you can now play the animation and save the file before you exit the ANSYS Workbench session. If you have any questions, you can find us on social media, chat with our specialists online, or drop us an email. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.